there welcome back to the 30 and 30 30 vlogs in 30 days my name is Mike and this is our Wyoming life thanks guys for hanging out with me once again uh, and thank you very much for all the emails and the comments on our last video my throat is feeling better we're getting there um, but uh, it's got a little ways left to go we're out here in, in the uh, pasture with the cows we've got calves standing around behind us that one right over there we've got cows trying to sneak up on us hi there faith former cats uh, today, <laughs> we're getting into uh, uh, a few projects that we're going to drag you along for. Uh, but first, I wanted to show you my new shirt. This is our 30 and 30 shirt. It's available now on our website. Uh, and I just got mine, so I'm proud to be supporting it. If you go to our website right there on the main page, there's 30 and 30 specials, and you can find it there. What are you doing? It's not your gator. You don't make payments on that thing. Can't be scratching on it. All right, guys, we are getting in the gator that we do make payments on. Because today we're actually on a humanitarian mission to get us started. Maybe it'd be considered a bovine-tarian mission. We have a calf that is way far back in our home pasture, about a mile back there. And last check, it was by itself. Its mom, somewhere up here, or maybe over there, we don't know where. But we figured at the last check, everything was okay. But now it's time to get them back together. So that is our plan for right now. We're gonna go out and see if we can reunite mom and her calf. was Erin on the radio. Always needing something. She needs baby pictures for Instagram. So if you do follow us on Instagram or Facebook, yeah, that's some of my work too. Even though Erin handles most of it, I just, I'm the photographer. So since we're out here, we've got a couple babies here with us, we might as well get some glamour shots. robbed. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, 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 what are you doing in there? Hey, hey, dang cows. Hey, get out of here. You turd. Now I'm getting accosted. Hey, get out of the gator. Ugh. Get. No. Oh my gosh. So rude. Hey, leave me alone. You woke everybody up. See? Those dang cows, man. That was number two. Causing all kinds of ruckus. Oh 
Okay, so I was in the process of looking for number 130. Um, our calf that we have that's out there by herself is number 7. Mom is number 130. So, I'll take a quick look through here. Hey, number 2. Stop it. You're bad. That was rude. And I know the big one puts you up to it. I don't see her in that group. I do see another calf over here. It looks like she's doing good. Hanging out with mom over there. Getting himself a drink, actually. That's a him. Oh, we got a cow having a calf right here. Oh, surprise, surprise. Look at this. Literally have a cow having a calf as we speak. Didn't even notice this going on just a few feet from me. All right, let's get over here. Okay, that is number 80. And she is having her calf right here. Try to sneak in here and tag this calf really quick. And it's a girl. Alright, now we got all that done. we can get out of here. Number eight, little girl, born to number 80. We're gonna get 
get up out of the way here a little bit. Give them their privacy. Even though uh, 184 is there trying to help. Apparently playing midwife. So people ask me how I keep all the cows straight and that is with a program called Cattle Max, which you can check out for yourself. C-A-T-T-L-E-M-A-X, Cattle Max. And all you have to do for a new cow or a new calf is to pull up mom and tell it that she had a calf. And that's all there is to it. And that's how we know that number seven, her, his mom, her mom, can't remember if it's a boy or a girl now, um, is number 130. So we gotta go out and try to find those two and get them reunited still. Number seven is way out there, but there are a few cows over here. So I'm hoping one is mom, and maybe they're a little closer, or maybe she already went and got it. I don't know. You know what, just in case we have another Calf. I'm gonna actually gonna reload my, my gun, my tagging gun that is, just in case. So we got number nine here ready to go. Get it loaded up. Just in case we run into another one. Well, there's mom, number 130. Where's your baby? Do you know where your baby's at? Do you want me to show you? Come on, let's go find your baby. Come on, come with me. Or not, we'll go find baby and maybe we are, you know, within a quarter mile or so. Maybe we can get baby to make a little noise and mom will come running. So we see it a lot where a cow will lose her calf, but she kind of knows where it's at. And I think that's what's happening here, is that 130 knows the general area where her calf is hanging out or where she left her calf, but she's not exactly sure to pinpoint it. So that's where we're going to help them out just a little bit. together so call that a win and we're gonna head down and check a few more cows before we head back towards the yard and uh, back towards the house I guess and we're gonna help out Erin with a little composting project she's gonna teach us a little bit about composting on the ranch before we wrap things up for the day so stick around
we're gonna try not to bother them too much but as you can see number eight is already up and trying to suck so that's a good sign hopefully mom will get it out of here uh, there's a lot of like little thorn bushes and stuff down in there so get that calf out of there but other than that I think everything looks good so the day that you watch this um, will be the 9th which is the first official day of calving 283 days from the time that we put the bull in with the cows so that is actually pretty good considering that we're already up to number nine uh, we've had eight cows eight calves on the ranch already before calving even starts we're almost a quarter of the way done before we even started look at that now that's some good math Hi, Erin. Hi. How are you? I'm okay, how are you? I'm good. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, we're wearing the same shirt. You told me to wear this. <laughs> didn't know you were wearing that. <laughs> I didn't know that you were gonna wear it today. I said, should I wear it in today's uh, vlog? And you and I- I think but, I missed the today part. And then you said, I'm gonna wear my sweatshirt over mine. It's hot out. No, it is getting warm. <laughs> we have a blizzard on the way and we're all running around in t-shirts. Um, so anyway, this is the farm store. Aaron's hanging out in here. I'm assuming they've been here before. Well, you never know. <laughs> we have our very own farm store on the ranch, so if you stop by, you can buy beef jerky. We just had two subscribers, three. Oh, really? Yeah. There's some veggies, meat in the freezers, t-shirts, soap, and stuff over there. But today is not about the farm store because I said you were going to teach us something about compost. And we're gonna go get some compostable material out of the duck pond. Okay. Is that our plan? Sure. We need to work on the duck pond. Okay. We need to clean the duck pond. Do you wanna come over and give me a hand? Yeah. All right. Let's go take a look and see what we gotta work with. Okay. So this is our duck pond. It's a hole. Put water in it. Ducks swim in it. That's the, the, the gist of it. Uh, we do have a tarp in it, a giant tarp, to keep the water in. But the problem with that is it also keeps the poop in. But yeah, it does a good job of that. It does a really good job. This stuff, though, can go in your compost pile, right? Well, yeah, but I don't know if there's enough to mess with. Okay, so we just want to get it out of here then. Well, yeah, we got to see if we can flip this tarp. Okay, so we'll talk about compost on another day, which can, is probably fine. You think we can lift this? I don't know. Cool, let's find out. The buzz on in my favorite song is playing in a Broadway bar. Then you walk in and you're all alone The hottest in the room by far And you look up and our eyes lock And my heart falls straight out of my chest, baby Your lips and your sweet smile Let me kiss it till I die For the rest of our lives, yes You and me were meant to be For the rest of our lives, drop your guard The plan is Mike's gonna go get a strap. We have taken this corner, this middle point, and this corner over here. We are going to tie them together with a strap and we're gonna pull it out with the game. Highly unlikely that this will work, but we're gonna try. Alright, so now let's go meet. Well, Mike's back, trip number one back to the shop. We can meet Ethel, the mini donkey. If I go in there, I'm gonna get accosted by the goats. So we're gonna do this through the fence. So, this is Ethel. She is the mini donkey. Hi, Jackie boy. Hi. You're blocking the view of Ethel, okay? Don't eat my finger. That's Ethel. She is pregnant. She's due, we think, in August. Um, we probably, at some point, will take her. We need to call the vet and see if we can do an ultrasound. Hi, Yoda. Hi, Yoda. Okay, so. Does your head itch? Does your head itch? 
Um, Ethel is too big to fit in the, she could go, like there's room in there for her with the goats at night, but she doesn't fit through the door. So if we're gonna keep her in there, we gotta, we gotta rework our door system. And maybe we'll do that at some point. But so she comes out here and hangs out with the goats during the day and we take her back to the barn at nighttime. So anyhow, she's super sweet. We really like her. She's very chill. She's not excited about much. She's just a chill donkey. What are you doing here? So we're super happy to have her. She's been fun. We really like her. Oh, I have to go. I'll have to go. There's someone at the farm store. <laughs> so yeah, this project's going well. We'll be back with you at some point. And we're back. All right, so we're gonna try to tie this up. Did you explain what we're doing? Yeah. Cool. I think. All right, do you understand it? Sure. Okay. I give us a 13% chance of success. 13. It's mighty high. Can't figure out how to do it. I'll figure something out here. Is a buff Orpington chicken. If anyone's wondering. If more wander over, I'll try and identify it. Name that chicken. Okay, well, somebody's at the farm store. Aaron's already shown you everything over here. And I don't know the names of all the chickens, so I guess we'll just hang out and wait for her. Stop or do I keep going? Or do we order a new tarp? We still have to get this one out. Yeah. Right? It's a lot easier to do if we don't care about the tarp. You decide. We gotta get the tarp out. Let's see what happens. It's actually still usable, but obviously if we can't get anything, it's too bad. Yeah. I think we just had to order a new tarp. Okay. But we still need to get this one out. Okay, well that's easier to do. 
All right, so that didn't work. So plan B is gonna be to be able to come in here with the skid steer or the tractor and just clean it all out manually and uh, just scrap get a new, tarp. just scrap the tarp. It wasn't that expensive, so no. we can get a new tarp in here and it'll be like brand new. Yeah. And we don't have to clean the tarp either. No. So, all right, no. that sounds like a plan. Kay. Guys, we're gonna hang we it up. We did our best. <laughs> we did our best. Not everything is a, a success. Well, we knew it wasn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun to try. Sure. Alrighty, guys. That's it for today here on 30 and 30. Look at the t-shirts you can get online. Rwyomonglife.com. And you can get vintage logo, some live stream stuff. Yeah. For All the, kinds of fun yeah. stuff. You can wear your 30 and 30 or your 24 hour live stream shirt during the 24 hour live stream. How weird would that be? <laughs> Alright, one more calf on the ranch. So that's good. We're up to eight. Looking for number nine. And we'll check in with you tomorrow right here on the 30 and 30 on our Wyoming Life. Thanks, guys. Your, your bungee's still over there. Save the bungee. Was there two hooks or just one hook? I took one hook off. Genius. Thank you.